Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. I bring you the news, which is his ghetto point of view. Do it for Delph, do it for Delph. I don't need a group, I could do it myself. Salute to. Cortez and everything that he's got going on personally and professionally, I see a lot of the Cortez talk online. He's coming off a battle with Sue Surf where, you know, his, he, he did his thing. Not gonna hold you. A lot of people was not giving him credit, was saying that he was gonna go in there and get smoked, get 30, die. And now the battle, you know, it, it's gonna be real different. When the app, when it drops on the app, it, they did the caffeine stream the other day. A lot of people got to watch it. Uh, now you got the surf round, first round. It's exciting. I'm just gonna leave it there. You know that that's gonna be debated heavily. It is what it is. Cortez to me got the second and third went to surf, but now we're in this situation where we're at. Cortez has some things to say as far as everything goes. He said, you know, he was quiet for long enough. I will read to you all of his commentary, and uh, you know, you let me know what you think. He says, I want to clarify something. I would speak on it one time. If we're talking bar for bar, you can't question my pen ever. Y'all try so hard to dissect shit that is weird. The things I fight through in this culture is unmatched. Y'all be giving these cats a million chances, right? And he goes on to say, when you talk about me, make sure you tell them I clearly had the best bars in these battles. Scope the neighborhood, Hogan, Earn and Ash, Native Tongue, Level 6 Feet, etc. All that first verse, don't paint a narrative that I didn't show up. I'll let y'all talk for days. Let's call it what it is. It's bias and funny style movements. Y'all just weird, it's okay. My issue is that you can't tell half the story what benefit you get from that. No one's paying y'all to do this. Y'all just have nothing better to do. I had a death in my family, still battle Snake after the weird sh that he pulled, still battle Surf after all the drama, Five battles this year, I'm centered around the culture, and all of it is weird, hateful, and most of all corny. You can't question lines if you have never been in my shoes. It's one thing to not like my style, it's a whole different thing when you go out your way to negate the work that I put in. It's lame at this point. Maybe find better ways to feel accepted. Cloud is a hell of a drug. Y'all looking crazy out here. As far as Snake Eyes, my Sue Bird line in the first is better than everything he said. He jerseyed the third and was dry for the second, except for the D Lo Brown bar we've heard before. Same way y'all went crazy for the Seinfeld White Cast bar. It's a lot to unpack. Uh, you know, he's saying that basically it's weird, funny style movements that are just basically trying to trash him, you know, and, and not give him credit for what he's been able to do. Um, the Snake Eyes battle is out. I, I didn't watch it, I'm not gonna hold you. Um, I did see the, the surfing um, Cortez one, quite obviously, you know. But uh, what I will say, I've always had a lot of respect for what Cortez does and as far as how he's had to work and grind and get it from the mud in battle rap because he's never been given a fair shake. I said this when the battle got rescheduled. I said, damn, it's gotta be rescheduled? Then it's not even gonna be live stream. Then it's gonna be on caffeine. Then it's gonna have to wait forever because they got mad events that ain't even dropped. Like the app is, is fucking dead now. Like, I don't even know what came out. Like they, they, I have no idea what's came out in the last seven to 10 business days other than some of the Kings versus Queens battles. But there's mad battles that don't get released. The fucking, I've been said the app is just dry. If I didn't, if I didn't watch battles, and get paid and have a brand or a business, I wouldn't have the URL. There's no way, because it's not useful. It's not a useful tool. I understand what they originally tried to do with it, but it's just, it's not useful, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> you could, if you got, if you need $8, you can save you $8 by not having the app. You ain't missing shit off of it. Especially when mostly everything's live on caffeine. You would've thought this would've been a great week for with everything that's going on, to just give the fans Rum Nitty versus Danny Myers. This shit happened last weekend. I've seen niggas drop a battle in a day, but no, we don't got nothing. Well, it's nothing. I don't know what's going on. Them niggas ain't dropping nothing. But anyway, uh, when it comes to Cortez, uh, you know, he said, he basically stated that through all the drama and everything that went on the past week, he has been able to still 
battle still you know bring three rounds having a death in the family he did mention that rest in peace to his grandmother and to be able to still come out and battle and have you know what's now it's really going to be looked at as debatable because once everything is <laughs> chopped up and this what about this what about that you know what i'm saying i only listen to r&b when you when, when you chop all that shit up man it's going to come around and be debatable and you know uh Cortez always has these weird situations that go on. Like his his shit don't never be straight. He can never get a straight shot or a straight look. It's always gonna be some bullshit associated, and that's the unfortunate part. When you have somebody that works as hard as he do to not get straight shots without a stipulation or without the battle getting pushed back. He battled chess. Yo, Cortez battled chess two times, and niggas ain't never seen. Niggas have never seen any of them joints. He battled this man twice already, and niggas never seen him. Why? Because either he won really crazy, and niggas tucked the footage, but this happened mad times with him. When he beats somebody and does really well, niggas will tuck the footage and you'll never see it. Just kind of like when John John battled against Young Ill in St. Louis. Niggas had a whole car, they never dropped the battle. The reason why is because Young Ill didn't win the battle. If Young Ill won the battle, that shit would have been out the same day. And that's the shit I be talking about when niggas moving the goalposts. Like, you can't put the footage out or rush the footage out if your man wins, but if your man don't win, you niggas will tuck the footage. That's some bullshit like that. That is like some of the nastiest work ever to, to really have a nigga battle, win the battle, but, but then the battle don't go your artist's way, you niggas tuck the footage. John John and Young Ill happened almost three years ago. Niggas still ain't never put the footage out and never will. I ask about it every now and then. I might ask about it again today. Um, but when it comes to Tez, I feel like Tez should, should deserves to get the shots to start getting some of the names that he probably should have been got that he can't get due to politics and due to not being in the in crowd and not being a friend you know what i'm saying like when you when you're in the in crowd and you called like the gunner and niggas is really like fucking with you heavy like that you're gonna get all the names you're gonna get all the looks but when you're somebody like cortez that has to fight from the mud to try to get a look and get a shot you gotta deal with all the bullshit behind it you know what i'm saying you gotta get your battle pushed back your battle gets pushed back then after that it gets done in fucking North Carolina, it's not on caffeine, then you gotta wait, the shit comes out a week later, then after the week later it comes out, now it's all of the fucking speculations and drama behind it, and they'll probably wait another fucking month to put that battle out, you know what I'm saying, like, to, 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 to do more damage control. Uh, you know, and Cortez is basically saying, you know, niggas is, not, the niggas is not getting paid, they just chasing clout, you know what I'm saying, like, when it comes to him and when it comes to everything that he's got going on. I respect Cortez. I'm not chasing clout. I do get paid, thankfully. But, uh, you know, he wasn't talking to me specifically because when I called the battle, I called the battle how I saw it at the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is what I felt he did good. This is what I felt could have been better. This is what I this is what I didn't like. But it was never from a hating perspective. Like, oh, this nigga ain't really like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he was trash. That's hate. He did his thing to me. And I think that uh, he should continue to, you know, Honor this battle, hone this battle, but look for the next name, look for the next look, look for the next vibe to try to, you know, clip somebody else because he's good to me. You know what I mean? And he did good in his second round. I loved his second round. And I like the beginning of his third round too. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the fucking ops had a hit out and some and views and some shit you trying to spit out. He said, I got smack got my rounds in the vault. There's still some shit I can't get out. I remember that joint. You had an impactful moment in that. And the one thing I will say about even in the battle, he had to fight for like all of his reaction. The reaction that he did get, he had to fight. I seen him literally questioning people in the crowd, like, yo, you can react, you can react. Y'all niggas ain't gonna react. What the fuck is going on? So uh, I think it's crazy. Uh, like I said, the Cortez and Surf shit, out of all the battles, I must say, out of all the battles that Surf had, this one has the most lingering after effects, whether, whether it's the bars or whether it's the lightning brightening, icing and frightening shit, whether it's the battle getting pushed back, like this shit has staying power. At this point, they should just go ahead and drop that bitch on YouTube. Make it really turn up. Fuck it, just turn this shit all the way up. Cause it's all, it's, it's smoking right now. Fuck it, just let, just turn it up. <laughs> let niggas, let niggas have that bitch on, the, on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, it's already in Reddit. It's Reddit? Yeah, it's, it's, it's called Reddit. Some motherfucking battles is in Reddit and shit. But, uh, yeah, so salute to Cortez and everything that he's got going on. He, he, he has some serious things that he needed to speak about, and I'm glad to see him get it off his chest, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, 
Cortez should get more respect in this culture, but you know, for whatever reason, niggas want to give him the whole stigma with the vault and yada yada yada. He, he had a bar about that. I went from cracking, not cracking the vault to breaking the bank. I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna give Cortez respect. You know what I mean? Like, like that, 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 that's what's up. To bring your A game versus somebody like Surf, especially with everything that um has been going on, is respectable. You know what I'm saying? And I respect the fact that you finally spoke on everything how you felt and what's going on out here like let yeah let it let people know how you feel because you know they said you don't tell your story somebody gonna tell your story for you and you know speaking about the snake battle speaking about the surf battle speaking about everything that's going on and all the whackness that goes on and corny shit you know you, you deserve to do that you know what i'm saying so salute to everything you got going on keep banging gang gang